Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. Today, we're just going to do a cool little Forex video so I could teach you guys some things. Uh, like I said, Forex is definitely a skill you need to learn in your lifetime, only because of the power in it. As you can see, I placed a trade here. I said it, the market's going to come down. As you can see, it's starting to come down. So I should be in profit here shortly. Uh, but you may be asking how did I know the market was coming down? Well, there's a couple of things that we teach. Uh, but one of them, as you can see, the shark is starting to come out the water here, right? So anytime the green line is above a blue one, we know, you know, we're looking for a sale. Uh, also, it lines up with uh, a little hammer right here. Anytime you see this is a reversal candle. So we saw the hammer, waited for the confirmation to see what it was going to do. When it dropped, it dropped down. I just got in here as it started to sell. And so that's where I'm at currently. Uh, and as you can see, the market's still dropping right now. Okay. So those are, you know, some of the things that we look for when we're trading. Okay. And so those are some of the things that you'll be able to do once you get started, you know, with our team uh, that you'll be able to recognize. And I usually tell people, like, if you don't see any setups, do not trade right a lot of people get in here they get anxious and they're like man bro i can make money so fast and i'm like well you can and you can also lose money so fast too so just take your time whenever you see something then get in right that's usually the best way to be profitable is once you see setups get in right and so uh like i said with this guys this is a way that you can pay your bills like i was just meeting with uh my homegirls yesterday I was meeting with them at their house um, and it's just amazing how many people have no clue about this stuff like even their parents was intrigued when I was talking about it but I was just trying to you know let them know uh, how they'll be able to pay their bills uh, with you know one in in a day and a half right if they if they master this um, and they was just trying to you know they was like couldn't wrap their head around it and I was like yo look I was like okay so your you know your mortgage right is around what you know, twelve, thirteen hundred, and I was like, well, you know, a couple trades, maybe even one trade potentially. Once you learn this, and I even did a live example uh, in their face, and they like on the demo, and I was like, see, this was a thousand plus dollars right here, and they was like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, it's real, you know what I mean? And so I try to tell people. Some people say they don't like forex because you know it's too risky, and I'm like, well life is risky you know waking up every day is risky you know what i mean you could die you can get in a car wreck just being alive is risky you know what i mean so you might as well actually sit down and learn something that could potentially change your life forever guys and so uh but just to get back to this real quick i'm on a 15 minute chart typically most people trade you know the 15 minute chart um it's usually not too fast, not too slow. So it's kind of like the, the middle ground of it all. When you're doing long-term trading, sometimes you go from the, to the hour or the four-hour chart uh, to do long-term trades. And typically, if you want to do a long-term trade, which we do uh, call out those kind of signals and stuff, uh, then you will just change your lot size to like a cent or so, two or three cent, maybe even 10 cent, depending on you know how much you have in your account. And then from there, uh, you're able to do uh, long-term trading which is cool because you can kind of just walk away kind of let it do its thing and then um you're good let me put this timer because i don't see my timer on my thing so i'll show you uh we have this little timer thing if i can find it uh let's see pit pack right here so if i drag this over and click ok you see the timer now. So now I have a timer here uh, to let me know when this candlestick is getting ready to jump to the next one. So it has about two minutes left. And then once it jumps to the next one, uh, it should continue down. Uh, and then we should, you know, be in profit. So I usually kind of watch that. And I tell people, look, don't panic. I tell people that all the time when the market is doing this thing, don't panic. Normally, if you're new, I do tell you, I do recommend setting a stop loss uh, and how you do that with this is you can just click your entry point and just drag it up right so I can drag that up and what that basically means is this is how much I'm willing to lose if the market goes the opposite direction so it's around $78 the market comes back up and hits this uh, it'll be $78 on each of these but uh, 
that's typically what it's for. And then you can also have a take profit, which you can drag this way. And if you look to the far left, well, let me show you right here, you see the numbers changing right here. And so this is how much I could potentially win if I just want to walk away from my computer and the market hits this point. I could place that there. So if the market drops down and hits here, that'll be $200 a piece on all of these, right? So if I just wanted to get up, go to the mall, kind of enjoy my day and don't want to have to look at the charts, then that's a way that you can do it, right? And so uh, this this kind of stuff, guys, it works. I mean, it works and it works really well. Uh, I always say have this in your arsenal. Like it doesn't have to be your main thing. Like to be honest, uh, th between this and YouTube, I mean, <laughs> like that, that's pretty much all I need to take care of all my bills. Really, YouTube takes care of all the bills. Uh, once, you know, I move into my house, it'll take care of everything. The more, cause think about this, guys. That's what I was telling you a long time ago. So my mortgage payment is only going to be like 1300 bucks, right? 1300 bucks. OK, and then the rest of the bills in the house, probably I'll probably end up spending about twenty five hundred total in the house. Right. OK, and I make over ten thousand dollars. So do the math. So let so let's let's do it. You know, you know, we go to the calculator here. Let me go. Uh, so we'll we'll do this live. You know, I always have to do this for you guys because it's all about numbers, guys. Once you write your numbers out, the numbers start to look small. What I mean, like. $10,000 doesn't seem like a lot of money anymore um, whenever you're looking at stuff, you know, because um, I used to think, like I said, I used to think that it was a point when we were staying in an apartment, me and my wife was thinking like we wanted to get a house. And at first it was like, well, $1,400 a month is too much, you know, but that in some cities and states, that's like your average, but it's the cost of living in Oklahoma here is low. So we we can get like apartments and stuff for like $600, $500, stuff like that. Uh, but man, it's just crazy now. So let's say, I think we're doing, matter of fact, I think my, more, yeah, it's about 13. If this works, can I get it to go? Let me see. Let me refresh right quick. Y'all man, this stuff is insane. The kind of stuff that you can do on the internet. I just, man, I hope and pray that you guys grasp this because I want to see you on Miami. Uh, come, why is this not working? I want to see you guys in Miami come uh, April. Give me one sec. Let me pause it real quick. Boom. So as you can see, it came down just like I said, guys, $26 in profit. And it's going to continue to fluctuate uh, as it heads into the uh, New York session. So that's what it is, guys. That's just how it works. I'll let that do its thing, uh, but I'm going to come back here real quick. And so what I was saying is like my mortgage uh be like thirteen forty, right? Thirteen hundred forty dollars. Uh and then my the rest of my bills I'll just take a guess and I'll say like seventeen hundred or so. So that's around it's really lower than that's around twenty five hundred, but I'll use the three thousand. So on average I'll do around twelve months. So three thousand forty. Alright, check this out guys. And just remember guys a year ago I didn't have any money. I was living in an apartment just one year ago. So check this out. So 10,000. This is how quick this stuff can come to pass if you just write your goals down and believe that it's going to happen. I'm telling you, uh, minus 3,040. Right? This is how much I'll have. Even I'll have even more because I usually do over 10,000, but I'm just giving you an average. This is a, a what I would have left over after bills are paid. What could you do with that? You know what I mean? Imagine paying all your bills and then having an extra six thousand dollars just to do whatever you want to with. It. It'll be insane. So I'm just let this do its thing, guys. But that's the kind of that's the power in in all of this stuff. So what what I would tell you to do if you wanted to do forex, if you're not super risky or nothing like that, and you just kind of like, well, I want just want to take care of a couple bills. All right, well, write out which bill you want for us to take care of. If you wanted to just take care of a car note, most car notes are around three, four hundred dollars. Just say, OK, well, I need to do this in a certain hour or this in a certain amount of time to get four hundred dollars. Maybe I need to raise my lot size. What do I mean by that? So right here, usually if you do like a dollar lot size, you can make more money, especially like with the I say anywhere from a two fifty to a uh, 
a thousand dollars but typically i wouldn't do a lot size unless you had like a 500 dollar account uh unless you were doing one of our other strategies that we talk about in the training uh but you so you be like, hey, I only need to do this amount to get to a thousand uh, or three or four hundred dollars for for the car payment, right? And so that's all you have to do right now. It says fifty, forty, some fifty dollars. Okay, that may be all you need for a cell phone bill. You do that, okay? I pay my cell phone bill. You withdraw that. Go ahead and withdraw that. Cell phone bill is taken care of, right? Or, I mean, I'm just saying it, it's a number of things you can do. You just have to plan it out. Don't be too greedy. You know, that's kind of how I tell people all the time. Do not be too greedy. Get what you can get. Get in and get out. Right. So the more you do it, the better you get at it. And so it's just a skill. Like I said, the more you do it, the more you learn it for a long time. For me, when I first started a while back, I kept losing because I didn't want to learn the skill. Right. I was too busy, like just trying to get in, get money and get out. And I didn't want to learn it. So I was just like. Well, I'm just going to, you know, wing it because I was like, you only have to be right just a little bit. So I'm just going to wing it. And then I kept losing. So I was like, well, let me just sit down and actually learn it. So I start watching the training videos, start doing all that. And then bingo. You know what I mean? And so, man, this stuff is is insane, the, the type of bread that you can make. And that's why there's a guy by the name of uh, Timothy Sykes. He does, you know, trading as well. He trades on the beach. He trades all over the world. And he always brings his laptops uh, to this exotic places and stuff like that. And he's like, yo, you know, I can trade anywhere. So basically what he's saying is he can pay for his trip. Let's say his trip costs $2,000. While he's on that trip, he can place a trade and then make $2,000. And basically he traveled for free. So he can, he does it all the time. And I love it. It's just dope, man. And I'm like, yo, I'm next. You know what I'm saying? I'm next up. My, my my channel is next up. My subscribers are next up. Uh, and, and it's possible, guys. Like I said, do your thing with this. Take it and run with it. If you need coaching, I have it. I mean, like I said, <laughs> the way it's, it's so simple to make money these days, you just have to take your time and learn it. Most people don't have people to guide them. And that's why I use I'm usually here to help people like I'm actually really helping people make money. And so I'm not stingy. Or anything like that. I want all of us to win uh, big time, right? And so that's just what it is. That's the spill of the day, man. I hope you guys, you know, really take heed in this stuff. The CPA, the affiliate. Uh, I got a lot more stuff coming. I guess I'll just take my little $26 right now, I guess. I'll trade some more later because I'm getting ready to trade with the team. So I'll take $26 for right now. Uh, the market's going to keep going, but. I'm getting ready to call out some signals for the team, so I'll get ready to holler at you guys later. Just wanted to make a quick video about Forex. I know you guys like it, but I remember I told you guys when you, you know, if you're on our team, you'll have these indicators and things like that. When you see, you know, the uh, the shark come out of the water, when you see that the market is above uh, around like, what what's this? It's around, this is around 54, but typically if it's around higher than 50, around 60 or 70 over here then you know okay it's out of the water here i see a reversal candle it's coming down all right so that's kind of the stuff you can look at uh and yeah that's it man uh hopefully this video helps you go out there make some money guys and i will see you in another video probably tomorrow let's get it peace